In this video, we're going to talk about basic programming on the ATV212 drive. Uh, we're going to just, just follow the basic parameters to get you up and running with this drive. First of all, what you want to do is set TYP to 2. This is what you want to have in most cases. What this does is it sets a lot of parameters, your max frequency and so forth, to 60 hertz. So you'll hit the mode button once and you'll hit the down arrow until you get to TYP parameter. right here you'll hit enter okay now you want to set this to 2 for 60 Hertz applications this is what you'll have in most applications so on the left is what it's currently set to on the right is what you're setting it to so you want to go ahead and change that to 2 and hit the enter button and you'll notice it says hello it resets itself and powers up again now you have set a lot of parameters to 60 Hertz already now we want to go ahead and go into the start stop control so what you'll do is uh, hit the mode key to get into the menus and you'll hit the down arrow until you get to C N O D and hit enter now C N O D zero is terminal control which is most common one would be HMI control and two would be serial communications so set that to the value that you like and hit the enter key to save it it'll take you back to CNOD now next we're going to do the frequency reference control so we'll go up to FNOD which is your frequency reference and hit enter now you'll set this to one if you want to use the VIA terminal if you want to use VIB for 0 to 10 volt control, you'll set that to 2. If you want to use HMI for reference, you'll set that to 3. And 4 would be serial communications, and 5 would be plus minus speeds. So for our purposes here, we'll set this to 1 to use VIA, which could be a 4 to 20 milliamp signal or a 0 to 10 volt signal. So we'll hit enter to save the change. All right, our next parameter we want to look at is your auto ramp adapt. We'll look for AU1. Hit enter. Now, auto ramp adapt is uh, a parameter you want to change to zero so that you can um, uh, use the parameters that you're getting ready to set for acceleration and so forth. Uh, if you leave that set to one, it will use its default ramping so you want to change this to zero so that it follows your instructions for ramping up and down and so forth so we'll change that to zero and hit enter always make sure you hit enter to save your changes okay next once we've done that we'll go down to acceleration ACC and these menus loop so if you get to the bottom it will loop right back around to the top Okay, once you get to ACC, hit enter. And let's get back to ACC and hit enter. Okay, this is your acceleration time. This is how long you want the, the uh, drive to take to accelerate to speed. So the default is 10 seconds. That's adjustable per your preference for your application. Once you set it to what you want, then you hit make sure you hit the enter button to accept the changes. Now we want to look for your deceleration. So we'll go to DEC for deceleration. Hit enter. And again, this time is in seconds. So 10.0 is 10 seconds. If you want anything other than 10, set it to your desired value and press enter. All right, next we'll go down to lower limit. This is something that not everybody uses, but this might be something that you want for your application lower limit is your low speed on the drive we're going to be looking for LL for low speed or for lower limit now again this may not be something that you need in your application but if you do you can set this to whatever you like this is the minimum speed that you want this drive to run at all times it will never run lower than whatever you set LL at so if you set that to 2 Hertz or 30 Hertz or whatever you want to set it to for your lower limit it will never run lower 
in speed than that value you program there. Okay, next let's go down and look for ULU. This is going to be your rated motor voltage. Again, we're looking for ULU right here, and we'll hit enter. This is where you want to set your rated motor voltage, 230, 460, what have you, according to your motor's nameplate. Once you've programmed in the value that you need, you hit the enter button to accept the changes. It will take you back out of ULU. Next, we want to look for THR, Tom Henry Romeo. That is your motor thermal protection. So we're going to look for THR. And again, these menus just scroll around in a circle, so you can go up or down to look for your parameter that you need. THR and hit enter. Okay, again, this is your motor thermal protection. This should match the full load amps or the FLA on your motor's nameplate. So once you get, once you change the value to what you need, you want to hit enter to, to accept the changes. Again, now let's go down and look for, um, next what we need to get into is the F codes of the drive. So we'll keep scrolling until we see F dash dash dash. F dash 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 and hit enter. Now here these values will go between F100 and F900. Okay, so we're going to look, first we're going to look for F 415, 415, that is your rated motor current. So you can hit the up or the down arrows to scroll. You can see if you hit the up arrow, you're going up from 100. And this is a loop also, so if you hit down, you will scroll down from F900 going down. So either way you want to go, if you hold down the arrow button, obviously it scrolls much faster. So we're looking for F415. and hit enter. This is your rated motor current. This should be your full load amps of the motor here again. Change this value to whatever your FLA of your motor is and press the enter button to accept. Okay, the next one we want to look for is F417, 417 and we'll hit enter here. This is your rated motor speed. This is the, your motor speed in RPMs according to your motor's nameplate. So you want to change that to match your motor's nameplate exactly. We'll say 1690 for purposes of this video and we'll hit enter to accept the changes. And lastly we're going to look for F601. Hold down the up arrow button until you get to F601. Press enter. This is your current limit. This is what you want to tell the drive is the maximum amount of current that the drive will allow the motor to pull. So this is your current protection here. So set this to what you uh, want to uh, have as your current limit on your drive. Uh, a lot of times what we do is take the FLA of the motor and multiply that by the service factor of the motor. So you know, a lot of times your service factor may be something like 1.15 you'll take your FLA, multiply that by whatever your service factor is, program that in here in F601 for your current limit. Once you have that set to what you want, you press the enter button and you are done programming. You can now hit the mode button, which is act, it acts like an escape key. Hit the mode button several times until you get back to 0.0. .0. Your drive is now programmed.